Hi, you are now watching the Otop series on every Monday morning. And pay attention, there is no other media group like Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp or WeChat that will share this market opinion. This valuable market opinion is only shared on every Monday morning in Otop, only right here in YouTube. And this market opinion is going to help you do a wonderful stock pick after you do your homework. Stay tuned and I shall be right back. Hi, good morning out there and this is the OTOP 114 on the 10th October year 2022 and we are back here on a Monday morning again 9am to share with you on the OTOP episode and uh, in this episode today as usual well we're going to talk about something quite unusual and um, sharing our market opinion on this talk for the very first time so stay tuned for the next 10 minutes and we shall continue to move on well to give a quick run back on what happened last friday okay last friday um we had the u.s employment figures down to 3.5 percent but the payroll rose 263,000 new jobs in the month of september and that is uh, above the market expectation hence the market sentiments were very prone on Friday to another potential rate hike due to the inflation of job growth and uh, that actually put down on the stock prices all right, with the expectation of rising interest rates uh, Dow Jones closed with a loss of 630 points on Friday okay then that, that's um, not very good on that and, uh, has, and it has frightened a lot of uh, investors S&P was down 104 points on closing when Nasdaq lost 420 points. Well, looking at the gold prices here, stock gold prices closed at 1701 US dollars per ounce, while silver closed at $20.16 per ounce. And one very interesting thing when we are looking at the uh, a potential stronger dollar from a strong job growth. Well, a strong dollar potentially could put the uh, precious metals down as what you can see here, but the crude oil prices didn't go down and swung up instead. And why is that so? Well, the uh, tension on the uh, Russia and Ukraine uh, renewed in uh, this uh, Ukraine country and that actually put some worries in the uptrend <clears throat> and a new demand in the crude oil prices and hence if you look at the crude oil prices here around Friday crude oil prices rose four dollars and seventy five cents closing at a price of ninety three dollars twenty cents and it recovers it recovered above the ninety dollars and and um, for the first time since uh, more than two weeks ago so this week we are going to see crude oil prices perhaps uh, moving back up possibly even up to $96 or even $100 all right before it comes up again for correction while we foresee the stock prices will continue to trade you know weaker sentiment but in this OTOP 114 and that's for the week 10 October year 2022 what are we going to share with you stay tuned right now and we shall do a quick revision on what we shared on last week before we get into this week's new market opinion all right stay tuned well last week uh, we were talking about Jiangxi copper and that's 0358 and here is it here it is Jiangxi copper right well the market has been moving on a very small uptrend all right on last friday if you could have uh, bought at this price probably nine dollars and now friday closes 918 well literally china is uh, going for national day which is a, a, a length of 10 days holidays all right and hong kong market also have been quiet it has been quiet because of the um, soe stock not moving so if you are holding on jiangxi copper and you want to continue to hold for a while because uh, <coughs> we foresee that the uh, recovery will still be coming very soon <coughs> so there's a quick revision on uh, 0358 last week 
Well, this week we want to share with you on a US stocks. All right, a traditional stocks, which is known as uh, well, it is here, Lockheed Martin. All right, Lockheed Martin is a listed company back in US. All right, and it is a manufacturer on weapons and the military equipment that supply to the US and selling on cross-border to many countries. So, why are we looking at Lockheed Martin this week? And this that's because of the news here that we just shared earlier. All right, on uh, Ukraine and Russia. Okay, moving back to a new renewed tension and most likely we are looking at US supplying new military weapons to Ukraine again. So, on the day chart of this LMT, which is Lockheed Martin Corporation, we do see, okay, a swing out of the prices here on last Friday, closing price a little bit high on 407.19, that's $407.19 US dollars per share price. All right, and uh, looking at this day chart here, yes, it's a, there's a possibility the market could be strong and going up. But let's take a look at the month chart Okay, month chart definitely we are on the 10th of October and two more weeks to go for the month of October and I think possibly, well, the market is going to move in the, inside the range of what was done in September. All right, while we move in the four hour chart, there is a crossing of the EMA 4 and 20 and most likely we are also going to foresee a momentum crossing up, which potentially we are looking at lock hit Martin Corporation prices going up from the current 403 potentially up to the region of 425 this week all right 45 to 430. so Lockheed Martin is something which we want to share in this um, old top 114 for the week 10 October year 2022 and we hope all of you would like it and do some homework on this and take a look if you want to pick up some small position all right don't be afraid while keep your stock prices perhaps anywhere in the region of 395 okay 395 because most likely the market is going to start off from this bottom 395 and uh, effectively we are still looking at the potential on our trend all right that's for old top 114 this week 10 october year 2022 we thank you for watching us and hopefully all of us can make more money and a better profit for the month of october stay tuned and come back next week Bye-bye.